Hi, my name is Vasily Tarsenko, I'm a Russian attorney and today I'd like to tell you about import of goods to Russia and in particular about parallel import. Since spring of 2022, the Russian businessmen have gained more freedom in the field of import. The government allowed importing some goods uh, without foreign owners' consent. The list of those goods was approved by the Ministry of Industry and Trade of Russia Federation. Let's understand how import to Russia is regulated now and what businessmen who will decide to import goods in parallel mode need to remember. First, let's deal with the definition. What is the parallel import? It is import of goods to the country without the owner's permission. It's so called because it gives the chance to deliver goods through authorized dealers in parallel with official import, which was the only legal way until recently. So what does the legalization of parallel import for business mean? Till May 2022, the government uh, forbade import goods without the permission of their owners and foreign producers used to limit the list of legal uh, importers uh, sometimes to one or two companies. Now, for a number of products, the rights to import uh, ceases to be the privilege of only selected trademark holders. And now it is possible to officially import goods to Russia not only through authorized dealers, but also through other foreign suppliers. However, note that the parallel import is not counterfeit. Businesses are entitled to work only with original production which they receive through alternative supply channels. And also the question, what goods have been allowed to import? I must say uh, right away that uh, not each and every product can be imported this way. The government legalized parallel import only for a strictly defined list of original goods. The entire list is set out of decree of the government of Russia dated March 29, 2020, number 506. The list contains a wide range of products of different categories, for some with classification of specific brands of other for other without it. According to the Russian government, the import of overseas goods will help to prove the domestic market with demanded goods and will allow to stabilize prices for them. One of the principles by which goods fell under parallel import is the cessation of suppliers to the Russian market, the Ministry of Industry and Trademark uh, of Russia Federation said. At the same time, I want to note that the goods of foreign brands that are manufactured in Russia at localized uh, enterprises were not included in the list. The federal anti-monopoly service advocated such a clause. Why had parallel import not been allowed in Russia before? The Russian civil code still retains the national principle of exhaustion of rights to trademarks, patents and other intellectual property. This means that the right holder can control the supply of goods up to the first sale of the goods in the country. Disputes about changing this principle to an international one which allows parallel imports has been going on for more than 10 years. The Federal Anti-Monopoly Service actively fought for the ban being lifted, but couldn't carry its point since such a way has its own disadvantages. On the one hand, parallel imports promote competition and drive down prices. On the other hand, right holders lose full control over imported goods which means that the risk of counterfeit grows in some areas, such as medicine and medical equipment, it is especially important to avoid such risks. What are advantages and disadvantages of parallel import? Its advantages are competition development, also favorable conditions for price reduction, and also no shortage of goods. Obvious disadvantages are reduce control by the foreign copyright holder, increase risk of importing counterfeit goods and no official service center. What else do foreign exporters need to know when importing goods to Russian through parallel import? The Russian government doesn't allow the import of any goods when planning business you need to check with the list of ministry. Second is that all customs and control procedure must be observed. Be sure that import of these goods is not prohibited and 
uh, to have some documents issued including contract, invoice, packing list indicating the weight of the goods and packages, way bill, licenses and certificates. Number three is that according to the Russian law on the consumer rights protection, the seller or manufacturer of the goods is obliged to provide the possibility of repair under warranty. If there is no representative office of the manufacturer in the country, repair shall be arranged by the importer. So, if you have any questions about importing goods to Russia, you can ask us for legal assistance. My name is Trasenko Vasily. I'm a Russian lawyer. Good luck in business and bye.